Arsenal are so close to agreeing a deal that could change more than one thing at this football club. If this deal goes through as expected, I think we can expect to see changes in more than one area in this football pitch. I also want to speak about the Champions League group as well because we now know who we've been drawn against in this season's Champions League. Before we get into it though, just very quickly, do me a favour, just hit like on this video. So the first deal I'm talking about is, of course, Aaron Ramsdale to Southampton. Before I give you my thoughts, let me know in the comment section, what's your thoughts on this Aaron Ramsdale deal? Because I'm seeing two sides here. One group of people is saying, I can't believe we've done this deal. This is terrible. What are we doing? Terrible bit of business. And the next group are saying, you know what? All things considered, this is actually a fairly decent deal for Aaron Ramsdale. Like I said, I want to hear your guys' thoughts. I'm going to give you my thoughts now because, like I said, this does impact more than one area of this football pitch. Before I tell you why, I'm just going to give you my opinions on the, on the Aaron Ramsdale deal. And I do think it's difficult because it's easy, in my opinion, to look at it from both ways. Like, you can look at it and say, do you know what? This is an all right deal. The window closes in two days' time. This is a player that wants to leave because he is good enough to play first-team football. He is a player that's looking to get into the England squad. And no one can tell me Aaron Ramsdale isn't good enough to play for a newly promoted team. So there are benefits to this deal. It is more money we've brung in. And that's probably all I can say in terms of positives, if I'm being honest. Do I think this is a great deal? I'm going to have to say no. I know some of you won't agree with me, but that's just my opinion. I'll tell you why I don't think it's a great deal, okay? Firstly, the price. Like, it's not a lot of money. It's 17 or 18 million pounds plus a potential 5 million. So 17 or 18. We played 30 million pounds for this player. We've proved, improved him. He's now got a Premier League track record. He's now being selected consistently for England. And we're losing a significant amount of money on him. I know the player wanted to go. I know there's different circumstances with a new keeper coming in. But just my opinion is this is a low fee. And I think it does affect us in more than one way. I'll tell you why. Because the guy we're going for in Garcia, they're wanting us to pay 30 million euros for that goalkeeper. So we're actually going to go and spend more on a backup goalkeeper. Like I would understand if Aaron Ramsdale was being sold for 30 million and then you go and get your backup goalkeeper for 5 or 10 million. And then the extra, like the profit, you go and put that towards a forward. And I think this is where it could impact us. Because we're obviously operating in this summer transfer window with restrictions or with our eye on PSR knowing we can't breach a certain amount of money like we're very close to a line we must be so many teams are being impacted it's the slowest transfer window for as long as I can remember that's just me thinking like I'm not looking at the numbers that's just me saying not much has happened this window there's only a few teams that have been operating in a way that you think oh they got money to burn but if we're gonna go and spend 30 million euros on a goalkeeper like I said, does that affect us then going to buy a striker? And why are we going to spend more money on a backup goalkeeper when we've already got Aaron Ramsdale? I know he wants to leave, but he's under contract. Like, is there not a cheaper option we can go for? And some people might say, yeah, but you need to feel comfort uh, comfortable or confident. If anything happens to David Raya, you need to be uh, happy with playing this goalkeeper. And I understand that, but that still doesn't mean you need to go and blow £30 million on a backup goalkeeper. It could be an investment that we that we rarely see. Like, he might only play cup games, and that's it. I think it's a lot of money to outlay on Garcia. You know, he's a Spanish goalkeeper. I'm sure he's good. I'm sure he's good with his feet. I'm sure the, the scouting team have identified qualities that he does have. But to me, it just seems quite a large portion of money to spend on a backup goalkeeper. We're basically swapping Ramsdale for a different goalkeeper that we're not going to be using that might not be as good. And we're actually spending more money on him. Look, that's my initial thoughts. I don't want to ramble on about it, but I'm just confused, not confused on this deal because I understand why it's happening. But I would probably spend slightly less on a backup goalkeeper in order to go and buy that striker or in order to go and buy that forward player. Because like I said, there are whispers that because Arsenal were having to overpay for a for a second choice goalkeeper, that might force their hand in not being able to go and buy an attacker. And if that is the case, like that would be crazy. Like we only can't go and buy a full. Like I, I'm sure it's not true, but if there's any substance behind those rumours, then it like it just doesn't sound good to me, does it? I don't know. I just I'll get, let me know your guys' thoughts on it, because for me it's a it's a difficult one. Because I don't know if Garcia is going to be any good. I think it's a lot of money. And I don't think we should be paying more 
than we're selling Ramsdale for. To me, it's just a it's a difficult one to swallow. Let me know your thoughts on it. Right, let's start talking about some positive stuff because Champions League, the group games have been released and look at some of these games we've got. We have some really, really good games to look forward to. So Arsenal versus PSG at home. We play Inter Milan away. We play Shakhtar at home. Atalanta away. We play Dynamo at home. Sporting away. Monaco at home. And Girona we play away. What are your guys' thoughts on that group? If I'm looking at it, I'm saying Arsenal have a great chance to progress. I've seen some of the groups and they are difficult. I think Man City's got a fairly difficult one. I look at Liverpool's. Theirs is definitely quite difficult. You look at people like Real Madrid. They got a difficult group. It's, it's just I I I wasn't over the moon with this new format. If I'm being honest, I was kind of a bit of a traditionalist, thinking oh, I want to see a home and away game of all the fixtures. Now it's been released. I think it will take some getting used to, but I think we will get used to it. I think it will um, throw up some interesting ties. Like I said, there's this obviously the PSG game at home is the pick of the bunch. Inter Milan away. That's going to be a very good game. I'd love to get tickets for that game. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on it. What game are you looking forward to most? Like I said, for me, it's probably that PSG game. I think all of them are beatable, in all honesty. I think that's a very, very good group for Arsenal. I think we can hope to get into the first eight or nine to secure that qualification early on i think there's yeah yeah I, i'm not sure it would be interesting to play the sporting game of course we've seen the links with yokarez i still hope that deal can happen before the end of the window i know so many of you want yokarez because you think he can be the missing piece of the puzzle and i agree i think if we can get a player like victor yokarez that can be the difference of arsenal winning the league this season that can be the difference for arsenal winning the champions league this season and uh, yeah, Monaco at home, a good game as well. I Like I said, I'm just interested to see these games. I think there's loads of good games on there. Plenty that Arsenal can win. Like I said, I don't look at any of them and think, oh God, that's a really tricky tie. Like I said, PSG at home is probably the most difficult, but they are very, very interesting games. Let me know your thoughts on it. Let me know your thoughts on the Aaron Ramsdale deal. Let me know your thoughts on the Garcia deal. Do you think this is a good idea? Arsenal to be spending out on a second goalkeeper more than they're bringing in for the sale of Aaron Ramsdale. What do you think of the fee on Aaron Ramsdale? Do you think that's a fair amount of money? Or do you look at it and say maybe Arsenal could have either held on to the player or maybe try to get some more money? Let me know your thoughts on it. Thanks so much to everyone for watching and listening. Before you go, if you could, just do me a favour. Hit like and subscribe and I'll speak to you all in tomorrow's video. Gooners, have a good day.